Okay, just in case you were wondering what it looks like after I film one of these vlogs. Ah, look at that. It's like such a big, huge mess. <laughs> Sweet friends, welcome to a new video. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I am a second grade teacher in West Michigan and I have all sorts of things to share with you today. I have some odds and ends classroom things. I have lots and lots of books. I just have all the things to share with you and I'm super excited about it. And I'm extra excited because today's vlog is actually being sponsored by Disney Book Group, which is out of this world, super exciting. And I have a few different books that I'm gonna share from them with you. And let's see if I can hold them all up at once. <laughs> There we go. So here are some new books that are coming out. They are actually already available in hardcover and in audiobook form. So let's talk about these first, and then I have all sorts of other things to share with you as well. Okay, so these first three books that I'm sharing with you are definitely middle grade novels. So these aren't necessarily ones that I'm planning on using with my second graders this year. But as you know, if you followed along with my channel, I've taught fourth grade, fifth grade, and these books would be the perfect fit for those grades and middle school and up. So the first one is Pahua and the Soul Stealer. This is written by Lori M. Lee. How incredibly gorgeous is the cover of this? I feel like this would stand out for students just like looking through the classroom library. Any adventure lovers would definitely be interested in this and this is an imprint of Rick Riordan presents which is pretty cool because I know I grew up reading a lot of the Rick Riordan books. Pahua and the Soul Stealer is a funny and fast-paced adventure type story that's actually based on Hmong mythology which is super cool. It's very exciting and adventurous so I think it would interest a lot of different students and another fun thing about this book is Pahua's best friend is a sarcastic cat spirit that only she can see. There's a relationship between Pahua and her guide that's really intriguing, it's full of surprises, and it evolves over the course of the book. There are some really interesting details in here from Hmong culture, so you're gonna find like food and spirits and stories that are from Hmong culture in here, which is really neat. This is currently available in both hardback and in audiobook, so it will be linked below. And then the next series that I want to share with you, super excited about this one. Again, just looks super interesting when you look at the covers of these books. So these are the first two books in the Paulo Santiago series. So this is the first one right here. This is Paula Santiago and the River of Tears. And then the follow-up book is Paula Santiago and the Forest of Nightmares. So this is the second book in the series. Again, the illustrations are just absolutely incredible, like just so eye-catching. And I love how colorful they are. Just absolutely gorgeous. And these were both written by Taylor K. Mahia. And again, this is that Rick Riordan Presents imprint, which is super cool. These books follow our main character who is Paola Santiago. She is a 12 year old girl and her two best friends are Emma and Dante. So she is space obsessed and always in for an adventure. These books are based on the Mexican legend of La Llorona which is the weeping woman and you've probably heard about La Llorona before especially if you're somebody who enjoys like horror and scary spooky things. So definitely something that pulls from Mexican culture which is very neat. The sequel to Paula Santiago and the River of Tears has even more monsters and ghosts to provide your students with thrills and chills. There's excitement and humor combined in this book, which makes it very highly engaging and interesting. And these books are also available in hardcover and in audiobook versions as well. So all of these books will be linked in the description box below if you're interested in checking them out. And thank you again so much to Disney Book Group for sponsoring this video. It is an honor to be able to work with you. It's super cool. And I cannot wait to share these books with students. Okay, since I was just talking about books for a little bit, I think I'm gonna try to like switch it up and share just some classroom items with you. So these items were donated off of my Amazon wish list, and they were donated from Lindsay, I believe. Sometimes the little notes stay with the gift, and sometimes I'll open a box and it won't have the little note with it. So I apologize if I don't say names in here. Just know that I appreciate it so, so much if you're somebody who donated to my classroom, but I don't always get those notes with it. Sometimes Amazon is really good about it, and sometimes they're not. But anyways, these were from Lindsay and let's see if I can find the top. Here we go. So these are just little counting tools. Let's see if I can figure out the name of it. Mini mm, Reckon Rex. Is that what they're called? Reckon Rex? I'm not really sure about that. But these are really cool for visualizing some different math problems. So especially like addition and subtraction and figuring out like doubles and stuff like that. So I have 
four of these in each set and I have two boxes, so eight total. So these are gonna be perfect for my back table. So thank you so much, Lindsay, for those. And then also this I was super excited about because I love whisper phones. These are whisper phones or fluency phones. You'll hear them called a bunch of different things. I swear by these. I use these in my fourth and fifth grade classroom. Loved them, the kids were not too big. And I'm especially excited to use them now in second grade because I just think that reading out loud is so, so, so important. And so I love having these. I had almost enough for each student to have one, but not quite enough. I think I had a pack of like, maybe like 15 or 18 or something. And I have exactly 18 students in my class, but I will likely get more throughout the school year. And so anyways, I'm just so excited to have more of these. So thank you so much for these, Lindsay. And if you don't have these in your classroom, I highly, highly recommend them. They are one of my most used tools in my classroom, so I love them. Okay, so now I have a ton of books to share with you that I've gotten from my classroom. Some were from my Amazon wish list. Most of them were from First Book Marketplace, which I love. I will link in the description box below if you'd like to check it out. And then some were from Book Outlet. So I believe those are the three places that I've gotten these. So I'm just gonna start grabbing them and then I'm just gonna quickly show you them. I won't have time for like a synopsis of each because that would just take way too long. But if you're interested in learning more about any of them, definitely look into them. Sometimes it helps to just look them up on like Amazon or you could look them up on YouTube as well. And sometimes you'll find the author reading the book or sometimes you'll find different like synopsises or book talks about them. So yes, okay, all the books, here we go. Are you ready? Buckle up. So I have Kina Ford and the Secret Journal mix-up. This series looks super cute. It's the Sadiq series, which is new to me. I think this is my first one that I've gotten from this series. This is Sadiq and the Bridge Builders. Looks super cute. And then I also have Sadiq and the Perfect Play from that same series. I also got the newest, I believe this is the newest Mindy Kim book. I have a bunch of these, really, really love them. And then I got a boxed set of the Ivy and Bean um, series. These are the first three books. So super excited about these. These were purchased from my Amazon wish list. So thank you so much. Then I recently got a couple box sets of these phonics type books. So I have the little critter ones and then I also have the Berenstein Bears ones. This one's kind of in its own category because I don't have any other like quick reads, but this is a ready to read living in Mexico book, which looked really cute. And then I got a couple, actually a few of nonfiction books as well. I love, love, love this series. These are just early biographies. This one is the story of Gandhi. Next, I got a couple of National Geographic Geographic chapter books. I absolutely love these. If you followed my channel for a while, you know that I'm a huge fan of National Geographic. I actually have a specific spot in my room for all of my National Geographic books because I love them so much. And these chapter books are just amazing. I absolutely love these and I love the photographs. They're so beautiful. Speaking of National Geographic, I was sent this book, which I was so over the moon excited about. This is Wild Vet Adventures, which is awesome. And it actually was signed by the author, which is so fun. I love, love, love when books are signed. I just think it's so special. So this is like a big, heavy book, but I know my kids are going to love this. Okay, now we are on to picture books, and I'm gonna warn you, I bought a ton of picture books and also had a ton like sent to me off my Amazon wish list and stuff like that, but I know that I can use these to go along with a lot of the standards that I'm teaching in second grade this year, and so that's how I'm justifying it. I just love picture books. So a lot of these will be used as read-alouds, not all of them, but a lot of them. So. Okay, we're gonna go through this super fast because there are a lot of them. Pink is for boys. Eyes that kiss in the corners. Zonia's rainforest. We are water protectors. Black is a rainbow color. Hiawatha and the peacemaker. A girl named Rosita. Viva Frida. Peanut goes for the gold. Ambitious girl. Galapagos girl, and this is the version that has English and Spanish. I dream of Popo. Cute as an axolotl. Facts versus opinions versus robots. 28 days, moments in black history that changed the world. Who wet my pants? Super Oscar. The ABCs of black history. The first tortilla. Round is a tortilla. Palatero man. Between us and abuela, a family story from the border. We are still here. Native American truths everyone should know. Rainbow weaver. What will you be? The big bed. Big feelings. The Black Book of Colors, Seeds and Trees, Fry Bread, The Astronaut with a Song for the Stars, The Proudest Blue, and then I realized I forgot one earlier. This probably should have gone in an earlier section like with the chapter books, but this is Ice Pops with Roberto Clemente, which looks super cute. This is just an early chapter book, really short. 
but looks adorable. And I think this is from a series. Yes, it's called the Time Hop Sweet Shop. And there are a few different ones in the series that it shows back there as well. So I know it was a lot of books. I know it was a lot of books, but I do love books. Like they make me so happy. They make the children happy. Uh, they make the school happy. I end up loaning out a lot of my books to my coworkers for them to share with their students as well. So these are not just for my own classroom. I will be sharing these with lots of other classrooms in my grade level and in my building as a whole. And yes, I just love the books. So now what I'm gonna do is actually just pull you off of the tripod and I'm gonna walk you around my classroom and show you just a couple of things that are new to my classroom this year that were purchased over the summer that I already put out in my classroom so I don't want to like take them from where they're at but let's go ahead and walk around the classroom and look at what's new. <laughs> some of you have probably already seen some of those things in classroom setup vlogs but that's okay. So if you followed along with all of my setup vlogs you probably already saw this but this is my secret shout outs box. This is just a comment card box from Amazon so I will try to have this linked below for you and then I have these just as a freebie on my TPT and my students can write little shout outs to each other and then I can read those during our morning meeting and just kind of hype up different students in my room. So I have that over here on top of this bookshelf. And then also I just got this little tin to put pencils in. This is just from Walmart. I think it was like a dollar or around a dollar. And so yes, that is what I have set up over here that's new. And then down here this summer, I got a bunch of these colors of the world from Crayola crayons and then markers as well. And this one, I think I showed this in a vlog, I wanna say maybe this summer but I put a label on the front. Again, this is also on my TPT, shameless self promo, but then I painted this clear container, this clear case from Dollar Tree. And I actually had this case before. This summer they were selling them again, but only in like bright colors. So I wish they would just have more of these clear ones because I love the shape of these. So yes, I have the colored pencils in here and then the crayons. So that was a new purchase for my classroom from this summer. And then also I had a package of these sent to me. I love, love, love these. These are the double-sided little, like chips I guess and we use them for all sorts of different things and math so I have I think like four bags of these total between these two containers so I have those and then also these are not new but I've had these little bingo chips for a long time too and then down here these are new from the end of last school year, early this summer, I can't remember exactly, but I found these at a thrift store actually. And there's lowercase and uppercase letters in here. So that will be great for word work. So those are some new things in this area. Some new things on this side of the room are the canopy and then those little fairy lights as well, or like curtain lights. Both of those are from Five Below. They were $5 and I love them. And then of course, if you followed along with my setup vlogs, you've already seen this, but this bookshelf is new. It actually was a dollhouse that then I painted white and we sealed it and now it has books on it and I love this space and my students do as well and these are not new but my students have really been enjoying having the pillows all set up over here and just like reading over here it's just been super fun so yes I am loving the space it's definitely one of my favorite spots in my classroom and then the last thing that I want to share with you that's new to my classroom I'm sure it's not the last new thing but it's the last thing I'm going to share in today's vlog is this amazing tapestry this is from Tiff in the Middle I purchased this off of Etsy and I just think it's so incredible incredibly beautiful and meaningful and I just hope that my students really internalize this and know that when they step into this classroom they are just so incredibly loved and I just think that this does a really good job of reminding them of that so yes I would highly recommend this from Tiff in the Middle I will link it below I don't know that you can always buy this I feel like I bought it on like a pre-order or something but definitely follow her on like Instagram and follow her Etsy shop so you know when she releases this again it's super cute and I had planned on steaming it but I still haven't so maybe at some point I'll get the wrinkles out but it hasn't happened yet <laughs> So I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different than my normal vlogs, but if you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave me a comment below. Let me know which book stood out to you that maybe you're interested in reading, or let me know a book that I didn't show in this vlog that maybe you have really enjoyed reading to your students recently, or just anything. Just let me know how's the weather where you live. Let me know whatever. It doesn't really matter. I just love hearing from you. So leave me a comment below. Also, please make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed already and turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new vlog. Also, thank you again again to Disney Book Group for sponsoring this vlog. It seriously was a dream come true. So thank you so much to them. And that's all from me for today. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.